Did he come out well? What happened? All the women are leaving the workforce. Didn't they vote for Donald Trump? But we need the women in the service economy to work because if they don't work, nobody buys any crap and that, that destroys all the company's profit margins. It's an emergency, man. It's all the prices. Coming to paperback and e-readers this April, ISIS, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The goddess next door must take on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new ISIS series adventure. Get ISIS, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess in paperback and e-readers this April. In a recent CBS News interview, President Joe Biden said women dropping out of the workforce are a national emergency. Now, your President Joe Biden was saying it's a national emergency because nearly 3 million women left the workforce over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, I have to wonder why your Joe Biden is so concerned about the 3 million women who left the workforce over the course of the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, but has nothing to say about the millions of men like myself who have been out of work since the Great Recession. I wonder what is so special about all of these women who have left the workforce in one year, but there is nothing as related to a priority as related to the millions of men who have left the workforce over the course of the last decade and a half, What I, a, a point that I detail in my book, The Man Crisis. I find it interesting that your Joe Biden doesn't see it as a crisis when America's men leave the workforce and don't return, but it's a crisis when the women leave the workforce and don't return. And I believe the reason why your Joe Biden sees three million women leaving the workforce as a crisis as related to a national emergency is because women are primarily the ones who drive America's economy. Now, as I detailed in my book, The Man Crisis, women are a majority of the voters now, and women are a majority of the employees in America's job market right now. And women are primarily the ones who control America's economy, and without anybody to replace those three million women, they you, a lot of companies are going to lose a lot of the leverage they've gained as related to controlling the service-based economy. Now, most of these American businesses, they would rather hire women, and the reason why they like hiring women has nothing to do with equal opportunity. Now, most of your American companies, they prefer hiring women because, one, they can be able to get meet these diversity quotas as related to things like affirmative action and receive tax credits for their hires, and two, they like hiring women because they can go out here and get more work out of a woman than they would a man. And the reason why they can get more work out of a woman than a man is because most women are submissive and most women are agreeable to corporate bosses. And this is a point that your Black Male Advice TV, a.k.a. Ringo, made a long time ago as related to women on the job. He stated that when it comes down to women, they won't challenge their boss but they will challenge their man if they're working and in a relationship. So many of these women in the workforce, what they will do is they will go along to get along with a boss at work. And many corporate bosses love having a woman on the job because that woman will agree with everything he says and go along to get along with whatever policies he puts into place. Whereas if you put a man in the same position, that man is going to push back. And that's what most companies don't like is a man pushing back and saying that he's not going to go along to get along. Because most men out here 
They have standards as related to their work, and they have standards as related to the way they're going to be treated. But a woman does not have any standards as related to the way she is treated, and they will allow bosses to get away with certain things like an unstable schedule. They will allow bosses to get away with all sorts of drama in the workplace, and they will allow bosses to be able to go out here and make a very erratic work environment, whereas men, because men like st have, having standards, one, and having a routine, two, they are going to demand a reasonable set of working hours. They are going to demand a, a series of working conditions that are safe for them, and they are going to demand that the work conditions in the environment are focused on production. Whereas a woman, on the other hand, she will put up with anything such as erratic spotty hours and an environment where anything goes because she will agree because all she wants to do is just have a job. And that's one of the reasons why many bosses don't like having men on the job and they're really concerned about these women leaving the workforce as related to the COVID-19 pandemic because they know that they cannot really keep their business going the way it's going right now. If you have women leaving, they can't maintain this, what they call the dysfunctional environment, and they can't continue to go on where, where you have an environment where anything goes. And they know if they bring men into a workplace, they're going to have these standards put in place, they're going to have guidelines for hours, and they're going to have some sort of structure because men like structure. But most businesses don't want to see men return to the workplace because that's going to cost them money, and they like having women in the workplace, one, because of the way they can just be able to control the conditions of the work environment, and two, they like having women in the workplace as a majority because they know they will profit at the end of the day. Because most women are consumers, and when you give a woman a job, you, what you're going to do is make twice as money, much money back, because most, most women, once they get this job, what they're going to do is take most of their money and spend it on consumer goods and services. And that's why your President Biden believes it's a national emergency when 3 million women leave the workforce because 3 million consumers are leaving the economy because in a consumer-based economy that is controlled by service businesses, you need females working in order to be able to maintain a revenue stream in that consumer-based economy. And that's one of the things that has Joe Biden believing that it's a national emergency when women leave the workforce because in a consumer-based, service-based economy, when women leave the economy, money is leaving the economy, and that's going to affect things like the GDP, and that's going to affect corporate profits because when women have control of the purse strings of the economy, all they do is go out here and buy lots of consumer goods because most women are all about getting social currency and they that's what they like to do. They like to go out here and buy the Gucci bags. They like to go out here and buy the expensive shoes. They like to go out here and buy the iPhones and the iPods. They like to go out here and buy these consumer items and that drives the profits of many of these corporate businesses, and they need the female to be in control of the purse strings in order to continue maintaining control over the economy. But when three million women leave the economy, that leaves a lot of holes in the economy, and it also means that you're going to have to start not looking towards appealing to these women, but you're going to have to start approaching these men in the economy 
and you're going to have to make some efforts to invest resources in those men. And when you invest resources in those men, that means, again, that these companies are not going to get these docile and submissive workers who will work these erratic 11, 12, 16 hour shifts. No, you're going to get a group of men who are going to make, start making demands and insist on working eight hour shifts, insist on having their weekends, and insist on making, making establishing some sort of standards so that they can make sure that the work is consistent. And companies don't want to do that because when you have men working fewer hours and then making demands as related to the quality of the product, that means they have to invest money in the company and that means they have to pay these workers a higher wage because a lot of men out here, they're not going to work for the wages that women will just agree to. No, they're going to demand that these wages are paid to them are of a higher standard and they're also going to go out here and demand again better working conditions because when you bring men into the workforce as a collective they are going to raise the bar as related to quality and most companies especially service-based businesses that operate on a razor-thin margin they are going to want to keep the cost low so that they can get the profits high so that's why it's a so-called national emergency for your president, Joe Biden, because over the last 50 years, America has invested in empowering its women and creating this gynocentric workforce, and this gynocentric workforce is now starting to leave the economy the same way men left the economy, but a lot of these women, now that they're leaving the economy, they might not possibly come back and that scares a lot of these business owners. It scares a lot of these politicians because they were counting on these large female voting blocks. They were counting on these large female consumers. And they know that if the woman is no longer in control of the purse strings, what happens is that makes for a complete economic shift. And that economic shift could take us back to something very similar to what we saw before the feminist movement when the man controlled the dollars in the community and when the man controlled the dollars in the community there were not many impulsive buys on consumer items to get social currency with others no most of the money was saved and invested and most corporations don't want to see men and women investing their money in themselves by buying things that generate wealth or build wealth and equity like owning a home or going out here and building wealth with things like stocks and bonds and that's why there was so much anger over that whole Robin Hood app and that GameStop issue they don't like the idea of men going back into the economy because if you bring men back into the economy those men are going to be focused on building an economic base for themselves rather than being consumers like women are and that's why it's considered a national emergency because when you have women leaving the workforce that really is again a devastating blow to America's now gynocentric economy because service-based businesses cannot really survive once you start investing in men because those men again are going to demand better they're going to demand higher quality they're going to demand higher standards and they are going to demand a higher rate of pay and most companies like hiring your women because they can one meet those affirmative action quotas and two continue to get away with maintaining dysfunctional work environments because women turn over jobs because they really in many cases have other people to provide for them and they can always leave the job whenever they get a boyfriend or they get married and they don't have it like when a man is on the job and he's there all the time that's something that most companies don't like so when we look at your Joe Biden and his statement it really shows how 
<coughs> excuse me, this man crisis is not a priority for him, but what he doesn't understand is if you invested in men, you would actually have more profits and you would not have a national emergency because when you invest in your men, your men will now become providers, your men will become protectors, and your men will become builders. And when your men start taking their natural role back in society, what happens is these men start to get a sense of purpose, these men start to get a sense of value, and then what these men start to do is as they're building things, they start protecting their communities, they start supporting their communities, and they start investing in their communities by going out here and maintaining them. And when your men are invested in, what they do is they go out here and they start creating new innovations that take the American economy in a new direction. So when I listen to your Joe Biden talking about women dropping out of the workforce and thinking it's a national emergency. Yes, it is for the old service-based economy, but we really need an investment in men because this just shows us how bad the things are getting and why we needed to focus on all of those men who dropped out of the economy because when men drop out of the economy, they're, they're, they're not there to maintain the base of everything, and that's the reason why everything is at this emergency stage because we didn't invest in men 15 years ago, and now we're suffering at, as a result of it. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to learn more about why so many men dropped out of the economy, you can pick up the man price on Amazon. Now available on Kindle, E-Steam No Good Deed. The Devilish Diva spears some stick-up kids straight in this action-packed E-Steam series comic. Get E-Steam No Good Deed on Kindle for 99 cents today.